get ready with me while i tell you guys a little bit about my childhood and how i grew up i feel like a lot of people don't know this but i was actually born and raised in taiwan not canada so for the majority of my childhood we moved back and forth from taiwan and hong kong a lot i remember switching schools basically every grade and half of my childhood is basically moving apartments we moved so often because rent was just so expensive and each apartment just got smaller and smaller and smaller the last apartment we stayed at was kind of like a hotel and it looked like one of those new york city apartments that are like super super cheap it's like those tiny ass studios meant for one person to live in but we had to fit four of us in there obviously there weren't enough rooms for all of us so my sister slept on the couch for almost two years like her room was basically the living room <laughs> i'm not gonna call us poor because we weren't we had a roof over our heads and that itself is privileged to me i just remember so vividly that no matter how hard we were struggling like financially my mom never made it seem that way never to our faces has she talked about financial issues or the fact that we were struggling even though we all knew she still wanted to make our childhood like a childhood i used to be so obsessed with my little ponies and every time we go to toys r us my mom would always let me pick out a pony you guys are probably like oh why is she buying you toys if you guys can't even pay your rent it's called credit card debt <laughs> my mom has always and still just wants us to be happy no matter what a lot of you guys always ask me oh what about your dad like why do you never talk about your dad he wasn't around much i was never really that close to him and i see him maybe once every year and that's all i'm gonna say a lot of you guys also ask how i can speak english so fluently if i lived in asia for basically half my childhood i went to an international school so the first language was basically english pretty sure i had like a british accent for a while because all my teachers were british because so i can speak both english and mandarin because i obviously have to have some way to communicate with my grandparents and then when i was around the fifth grade my mom decided to move back to canada basically my mom immigrated to canada and got her degree in canada so it automatically made me and my sisters Canadian citizens. And my sisters were actually born in Canada. I was the only one that wasn't. I was literally so excited to move. And it was literally just like the movies. Everything was so suburban. One of the main reasons why we moved to Canada was because education was way too expensive in Hong Kong because we went to private schools. And we could have just went to a public school in Hong Kong or Taiwan, but the education isn't great if you go to public school in Asia. And education was something my mom always prioritized. Moving to Canada made me realize how lucky and privileged I was to go to an international school in Asia because I could speak fluent English and I was able to make friends and communicate with others. Looking back, my mom single-handedly did everything she could to give us the best lives. Obviously, not everything was perfect after we moved to Canada. We still had our struggles, but I'm happy to now say that we lived a very comfortable life and it's all thanks to you guys. Anyways, this goes out to all the families out there that immigrated to a different country for their children. Hey guys, I'm going to be rating my favorite lip products from 2023. Okay, starting with the Summer Friday lip balms. These are the best lip balms I've ever used. There's also like so many shades to choose from. My favorite is Pink Sugar for summer and then for winter I like Brown Sugar. Next are the Road Lip Balms. I don't know if it's just me, but these like colored ones taste so weird. I love their lip tints, such great colors and the consistency is so nice. But it just tastes funky. However, the scented peptide lip treatments are amazing. So many great lip masks out there, but this one's my absolute favorite. It's the Fenty Beauty Plush Put-In, and it just makes your lips so hydrated and glossy. The Gisu lip oils taste like olive oil. I love the packaging, and I love how there's this shimmery version, but these are so expensive, so you can definitely find much better ones out there. And it's not the best consistency that I like on my lips. The Say Lip Oils. These are such great like everyday lip oils and the shade range is amazing. There are a few more shades, I just didn't grab them all, but the consistency is also amazing. I don't have much lip liners because I don't really line my lips often, but these are the ones I use if I do. I really like the Refi one because the applicator, you don't have to sharpen it and the shade is really nice. However, I really do not like the setter at the bottom of it. It like flakes my lips and it makes them so dry and it just doesn't work for me. Love the Charlotte Toby lip liner, but it dulls so fast. And if you sharpen it too much, it breaks really easily. The Rare Beauty one is perfect. I love this shade. This is in the shade Humble, and you just twist it up to get more product. And I love that you don't have to sharpen it. The Fenty Gloss Bombs will probably always be a staple. They're just so gorgeous, and the amount of shades they have is insane. And the consistency, so good. And it also tastes really good. 
this milk lip gloss i just started using it so i don't have much to say but it's really good a great everyday lip gloss and the shades are so pretty Kosas wet lip oils i love my favorite shade from theirs is unbuttoned very hydrating and really pretty on the lips the ysl candy glaze is really good it just gets so messy around like the applicator it's also a little pricey for what it is but it's good nonetheless anyways let me know if i should do one for makeup and skincare bye guys A lot of you guys always ask me how I get PR. I personally get my PR through my agency or brands will just DM me on Instagram. A lot of you guys say that you have to be like, oh, like a famous influencer. You have to be a celebrity to get all this PR. I personally think that that is not true at all. I have personally seen people with less than 5,000 followers get lots and lots of PR. Instead of waiting for them to reach out to you, you should honestly just reach out to them first. Obviously, you've got to have some sort of reasoning as to why they should be giving you free skincare and makeup. An example would be obviously telling them you have a TikTok or an Instagram account where you review makeup products. I feel like as long as you have a good pitch to them as to why they should send you PR, then you're chilling. But trust me, you guys, you don't need tens and thousands of followers or millions of followers to be getting PR. I've seen people do it. And just honestly, put yourself out there. A lot of you guys also always ask me how I gained a platform. I personally think that every influencer has their own like niche. Basically just something that makes them stand out from every other person. But I'm going to give you guys some advice. Once you start gaining a following or some sort of platform, people you know will literally go out of their way to make fake tiktok accounts just to hate on your posts i personally think it's so funny that they'd be doing all that just to comment on your post and half the time they'll be like oh i went to school with her we made eye contact once and i just knew she was a bitch but the ow fuck it's literally just the reality of it it took me such a long time to just realize that not everyone's gonna love you and it's also like the more followers you get the more haters you're gonna get which is like totally normal my biggest advice is to never ever overshare on the internet because once it's out there you can never take it back there are a lot of things that you just need to keep private to yourself and no one else has to know. It does get really annoying though because sometimes people will start making assumptions of how you grew up and how you live. At the end of the day, as long as you know the truth, that's really all that matters. Like if someone's spreading rumors about you on the internet and you know that it's not true, you know it's false, then that's all that matters. I do, however, really want to do like a get to know me video because I feel like I've done too good of a job hiding myself not like hiding i feel like i just haven't shared much i really want you guys to know more about my background and like how i grew up and stuff like that really been loving this lip oil from rare beauty in the shade serenity bye guys hey guys get ready with me guys i rearranged my whole entire room like two days ago and it looks so good Okay, so it looks exactly the same right now because my closet's still behind me, but I can't move that closet. It's mounted. So let me just show you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my bed frame is like no longer against this wall here. It's on the other side. I also got new like organizing shelves to put all my makeup and PR in. Okay, this is what it looks like now. So my bed is now here and I got this new storage shelf. I literally love it so much and it looks so cute. I'll do more of an in-depth tour and probably like an updated vanity tour too soon on like a separate video. But I think I'm going to do a full like room tour on my YouTube. I already have one up right now but it's from this summer so it's kind of old. So I'll definitely do an updated one for my next video but speaking of YouTube, I just uploaded a new video yesterday. It is my birthday weekend vlog and it's probably one of my favorite videos up on my YouTube right now. It's also my longest video yet. It's literally 20 minutes and all my videos on YouTube are less than 15 minutes, like 13 minutes max. And you guys always say you want like longer videos from me, so this one is like perfect. My YouTube is linked in my bio. Just click on the little Instagram icon or it's literally the same exact username as my TikTok. But yeah, I can't wait for you guys to watch it. I'm like so excited. Anyways, right now I'm getting ready for brunch with my little whole family. There's like 13 of us going. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there's like ocean waves playing in the back because I sleep with like ocean waves in the background. I used to sleep with a fan on, but I got rid of it the other day because it was so dirty and like disgusting. I physically cannot sleep without like noise in the back. So all throughout winter, I always have a fan on like it's never off. 
But now that I threw it out, I'm just playing like ocean waves in the back while I go look for a new fan. I just want to get a mini fan because the one I had was really big. But guys, I'm so glad I got that like storage unit for all my makeup. Like my room finally feels like my room. There used to be just stuff all over the floor. And it genuinely pissed me off so much because there was nowhere to put anything. Okay, so I'm setting spray. Just don't feel like doing my mascara at all, so I'm going to use the Glossier one. This stuff is perfect for when you don't want to put anything on your lashes, but you still want to look like you have mascara on. It's so light that sometimes I like wonder if there's actually any product inside. Okay guys, I feel like doing a dark lip combo today. You guys said I look really good with a dark lip, so here we go. Okay, this is terrifying. Let's just put on the lip oil to see. Oh my god. Okay, I wiped off the liner and I just did this and it looks so good. This is Rare Beauty's lip oil in the shade Serenity. I love it. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Christmas slash birthday haul. First from Skims, I got my favorite tank tops. These are the comfiest things ever. This is what they look like, and it came in three different holiday colors. I got two more shirts from Skims. I believe these are, like, the seamless ones, but they're so comfortable, and they look so good on. I got a custom makeup pouch with my name on it. I'm actually so excited about this. It's actually huge too. I got a lot of jewelry. A lot of it's from Missouri. So first I got these hoops. They're so cute. Perfect thickness. I love them so much. I got these like Bottega dupe earrings. They're really cute. And then my friend got me this necklace. It's gold and silver because I've been mixing gold and silver a lot recently. I got this bracelet that didn't come in time, but I'm really excited. It has like smiley faces on it. From Tiffany's, I got this necklace I'm wearing that I've been wanting for so long. I love it so much. I got a stack of like beaded bracelets. I've been really into these. There's a pearl one, a silver one. This one's a mix of gold and silver. It's so cool. Last but not least, my mom got me this um, ring from APM and it's so pretty. I love it so much. It has like pearls on it. I got a new super puff. This is so cute. It's white and shiny. I love it. I also got this coat from Aritzia. It's like a long trench coat and I've been wanting one of these. This is perfect for New York. I literally can't wait. Shoes. I got some Adidas. This is the Gazelles. Color is to die for. I got platform Uggs and they're like the little mini ones. I got a ton of bathing suits and they're all from this brand called Strawberry Milk Moths. This one I got is this purple one. I got this blue one with butterflies on it. This hot pink bandeau one with a heart. This one's probably one of my faves. It's like a red triangle bikini top. So cute. I got this phone case, this phone case, and this one. I got some candy. This sage set. That's so cute. Little beanie from Ralph Lauren. And then my family and I played a game and I won $50. A shit ton of books because I thought if I'm taking a gap semester, I gotta keep my brain moving. So I got The Secret History. I got Britney Spears' book. I'm really excited for this because I really want to read about Justin Timberlake's Tiny Wiener. A Little Life. I know this one's really sad. The Picture of Dorian Gray. Lessons in Chemistry. And 21 Laws of Leadership. And then I got a journal because I really want to start journaling. And the paper is gold, which is so cool. And then my uncle gave me a perfume from Dior. Literally so sweet of him. This is actually like a hair perfume. It's jasmine scented and it sprays out really, it's so pretty. I got this candle from Sage and it smells so good. And then this body oil that is literally my favorite. I love this stuff so much. I think that's everything. I hope I didn't miss anything, but I'm so thankful and grateful for everything that I got. And I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Bye. Hey guys, let's do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so I'm getting ready for a holiday dinner and for some reason Charlotte Tilbury just reminds me of Christmas. So I'm starting off with their toner. This is so good. Now I'm going in with their magic serum. This stuff is literally incredible. It is super pricey, but it literally makes your skin so dewy. Also, did you guys know that there's actually like a fatter version? I thought this was the full size, but apparently there's like an even bigger one. Literally makes your skin feel so refreshing. Okay, now I'm going in with their Magic Moisturizer. This moisturizer, you guys, is also so good. Charlotte Tilbury is one of the brands that is more on the pricey side, but so worth it. They also just recently came out with this one. This is the Magic Water Cream. So the one I'm using is, like, thicker for drier skin, and the water one is more of a, like, jelly-like. Okay, now I'm going in with, like, one of their most popular products. This is the Flawless Filter. Literally, look. I've used this so much that the writing is all literally gone. 
you either hate this product or you love this product there's literally no in between i love this product i personally think it makes your skin so dewy and it's like the perfect base under your makeup okay now i'm going in with the beautiful skin foundation i'm not a huge foundation girly so i'm not a huge fan of this it is a really good foundation it's just really pricey and okay for contour i have two different ones i'm gonna use the contour stick which is so popular and it's popular for a reason i really like it again it's another product that you either hate or love i will say though it does explode a lot especially if you um travel with it okay so for blush i'm using the pink gasm blush wand this is also so good all of these wands are honestly so worth it i love how it blends out it's okay now i'm going in with this cream look how ginormous it is you will literally never run out of this they have a powder version too which is what i wish i got okay now why does that look so good though okay per all bronzed up literally why does nobody talk about these powder blushes i bought these so long ago this little pink one too like look at how cute this is i'm but it's actually such a good powder blush for highlight i have the wand but i want to try this one in the shade gold gasm this one's in the shade spotlight i'll show you guys what it looks like oh my gosh this one exploded okay but that's what it looks like it's super super pretty literally my fave now i'm gonna try this one in gold gasm this part is so satisfying i always squeeze out too much though so <gasps> okay i'm gonna do one two two dots oh my gosh it's really gold so pretty i don't have their eyebrow stuff i don't have mascara so we're just gonna be hairless today this is their iconic setting spray another one of their iconic products is their setting powder this is the press powder oh i'm so itchy anyways it makes your skin so like it blurs everything out say bye bye to my shiny forehead okay now their iconic lip liner they have so many iconic things this is in the shade pillow talk now i'm going in with this color bomb i've never tried this before they just sent this to me in the shade passion kiss ah interesting that is so cute okay oh it's one of these okay i only did it like that much this looks a little dark for my liking but oh god <laughs> okay i fixed it up i don't really know if dark lips are really my thing or if it looks good on me but that's the final look i love it bye guys